Defence Minister Andrew Robethon has been accused of insulting Second World War veterans after taking part in a debate on the Arctic convoys at Westminster Hall. The government has been criticised for reneging on a pre-election promise to grant the veterans of the Arctic campaign a medal. Rosie Layden has been following the story. This year marks the 70th anniversary of the first Arctic convoy. The sailors made treacherous journeys through icy waters under constant attack from U-boats and the Luftwaffe. The veterans of the Arctic convoys have been campaigning for a British medal to recognise their service for 20 years. Before taking office, senior Conservatives pledged to grant the veterans their wish, but in government they've committed only to a review. At yesterday's debate, Andrew Robethon insisted it was not for politicians to decide who was awarded a medal. Authoritarian regimes and dictators often do indeed throw around a lot of medals, and one can look, for instance, at North Korean generals who are covered in middle, medal ribbons, or indeed Gaddafi or uh, Saddam Hussein. We have taken the view in this country, traditionally, and, and honourable members may disagree with it, that medals will only be awarded for campaigns that show risk and rigour. 91-year-old Commander Eddie Grenfell is the leader of the Arctic medal campaign. He described how he felt as he listened to the minister's comments in Westminster Hall. Disgusted to think that this man, who has no experience of real war, should treat us in this way. He looks down his nose at us. I was 22 when we were sunk. And to compare us in any way with the North Koreans or Gaddafi, it's the greatest insult that any minister could fire at a war veteran. War veterans who were gladly put their lives on the line. Since appearing in the debate last night, Mr. Robethon has released a statement. He says, um, there was no intention to cause any offence. I was making the point that we honour people for their service in a very different way to that of authoritarian regimes. Is that a sufficient apology? No, not at all. And I can tell you, I am writing to Prime Minister Cameron to say that we shall be happy and satisfied when that man is sacked, sacked from his job. In response to the strength of feeling stirred up by Andrew Robethon's remarks, the Defence Secretary was asked to defend his comments in an evidence session with the Defence Select Committee. These are people that uh, performed an incredible service uh, to our country. The, uh, the, the role of the Arctic convoys in the successful conclusion of the Second World War is well known uh, and undoubted, and if any offence has been caused, uh, I deeply regret that. In a statement, the MOD added the government was committed to a fresh review of the rules governing the award of military medals. For the ageing veterans, the wait continues. Rosie Layden, Forces News in Portsmouth.